So here it is YouTube, I'm Roadhawk Wilson welcoming you into my home and today I wanted to discuss Taskmaster and I was reading a recent article which I'll leave down below on CBR.com discussing how Marvel has coyly teased the Taskmaster and ultimately not done much with this character and I really wanted to discuss if this is a good thing or a bad thing, or if it's both. And realistically, Taskmaster not being hinted makes logical sense to me. The last Black Widow trailer released on Women's Day in the US, and Black Widow is a franchise that has not been utilized by Marvel consistently throughout the MCU and of course Taskmaster is not going to be the first and foremost character it's going to be a strong and compassionate family that's going to be the focus of a woman's day storyline in fact there's even a scene where Natasha is being told to listen to her mother this is Marvel playing on the fact that women's day is a day to honor women and the strength behind them now that Taskmaster has been hinted and shown, this could actually be to empower the character of Black Widow and really emphasize some very important elements. One, Black Widow is a character that can stand up to the likes of the Hulk. Two, she is a character fans have wanted for a long time. And three, she is one of the few women who have gotten any acknowledgement from the MCU in terms of movie franchises. And I say this could be a franchise because there's a lot to pull from from what we've seen in the trailer. And so I think ultimately it is a good thing that we didn't see much of Taskmaster. Now there may be a lot of angry people at this video right now, but ultimately the importance of the Black Widow trailer was to showcase the strength of its star and her origins two things that are important to every woman that I personally know and many that I'm sure I don't. Um, I can't speak for women in general because I am an adult man and I don't like doing that. But I do want to say that this, this trailer was vastly important as it set up Natasha's family life. Something we have seen very little of, especially her sibling relationship. Now, I have personally believe this might be an adopted sibling. This may be someone she rescued from the Red Room. There's a variety of theories that I have going on. But right now, in this moment, can we just acknowledge that Marvel has ultimately paid tribute to a character appropriately, significantly, and importantly, who has notoriously been a sex symbol, who has notoriously been harsh in the comics, but is getting a appropriate, family-oriented, and ultimately significant role in the MCU right now. This is huge, and the fact that it aired on Women's Day makes me very happy. My voice is dying right now because I'm getting over a cold, but let me know if you enjoyed this video with a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video.